How's it going everyone? This is Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to replace the screen on your Fitbit Charge 4. We do not offer repair service for this watch. However, this is why I'm making the video to show you guys how you can at home do this. We do sell all the parts and tools that you'll see me use in this video. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or just message us and we'll happily help you out. But hopefully this video does a good enough job to kind of show you guys have the process. So to get started, you obviously you need your watch. You're gonna need a pry tool. Here's mine. I put some tape on it just so it doesn't kind of cut my hand because I use this very often. So you need a pry tool. I like this one. It's nice and thin, very pliable. And then you'll need some heat. So I'll be using a heat gun today. And you're gonna want a low temperature and uh, a low flow. So we basically have um, Temperatures in Fahrenheit, I'm going to be using like 145 degrees and then out of 120 flow, I'll be at like 40, 35 or 40 air, air flow. And that's 140 degrees. And this is the most tedious part. Um, obviously if your screen's cracked, it can be easier or potentially tougher, but I would probably say it'd be easier. This is a fresh unit so the glue will be very sticky and very uh, connected. So a few things you need to know before you start. The reason we use such low heat and low pre uh, airflow is because the housing is plastic and the plastic can get like a, you could melt it, you could get dings in it, um, as well as just kind of when it heats up it's going to not be this matte color, it's going to be more shiny. So that's why we use low heat and we never want to apply the heat on the edge. Always apply the heat to the screen directly, making sure you're not kind of going over the edge because that's again when you could start melting and deforming the housing. So that's just one gripe kind of with the Fibri Charge 4 is the fact that it is a plastic housing. So just be aware of that as you're going and just yeah, keep your heat and pressure on the uh, actual screen and glass. And then we just kind of just start working our way around and we'll be just doing a couple passes just heating it up feeling it kind of let the heat go into the glass itself of the screen and then it should transfer from the glass to the glue and then kind of loosen that glue up so let's get started We'll kind of give that a little second and let that heat transfer and then we'll go back and heat it some more. And we'll go ahead and just kind of repeat the same process of just heating the screen, making sure again we don't heat the plastic so that it doesn't kind of, it'll remain its matte finish so it looks factory fresh once we're done with the repair. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our pry tool and then I like to start with the opposing side of the button here um, and we'll get between the plastic and then just kind of work it underneath the screen and then pry up, get slip out on you a little bit. But you want to get as much contact patch as you can with the pry tool and then just pry up. Alrighty, it's not going, so we'll just heat it up some more. That's just kind of how you check, right? You, you go ahead, heat it, try it. If it's not going, you never want to force it, because that's when you can start damaging that housing. So just heat it up a little more, and then try again.
Go ahead and try again using that same technique. You gotta have a lot of patience when doing this one. That's the thing when you're losing, uh, <clears throat> when you're using low heat, it's gonna take a little bit. So patience is your friend here. There we go. We got this side finally coming up. Pry it a little bit. There we go. You hear the glue kind of cracking. And you can see we got got some lift off there. And then grab some heat. And then I'll work the top edge and then kind of work around to that one. Again, all you need is patience. Because once you start rushing through this, it's when you start damaging parts and you're having a bad day. Then, once I do that edge, I would do the top edge. Um, same process, right? Get under it, pry up. Beautiful. Got some lift off there, and now heat this edge. You guys get the idea. Now we can do the last side. Beautiful. Once that comes up, you just go from the top and then pull up. I'm sorry. But I just got my nail under there. Here, I'll show you guys again. If we pop this side, put your nail as a placeholder. And then with my other one, I'll just pry it out like so very strong glue they use from factory hopefully it'll be easier for you guys once your once your unit's a little older because this is a fresh unit and then I'll just heat the bottom because again as you've seen this glue is very resilient And then, the last little bit, kind of pull this way, this way, be mindful that you have a ribbon connected, and then just kind of pull out. Sometimes you use your pry tool to kind of cut that glue. Maybe not. But, yeah. Work it with your fingers. Just be patient and you can get her done. That's my advice to you all. And now we're just gonna work on kind of removing all that glue. I will go ahead and remove the screen. Here we grab our plastic pry tool 
I love this tool, use it all the time. Kind of get up under the battery, light pressure so you don't damage the battery, pop that up. Then I'll be using, maybe I'll ask Ed, what is this? Well, this is my favorite toolkit ever. And guess what? We sell it. Pretty neat, huh? Push it in, pop it out, bam. You got some tweezers, you got your screwdriver, your handle, and all the bits that you'll need. Listen, listen, shh. That, come on, that's satisfying. This is a sick toolkit, I use it every day. Granted, I fix electronics every day. However, if you think this isn't the only repair you're gonna do, I'd highly suggest that you go ahead and pick this up. If not, we do sell just single screwdrivers. You can pick this up, got our beautiful branding, 1.5 mil Phillips, that's what we're gonna be using here. But if you think you're gonna be doing some little bit of handiwork, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to score some brownie points with whoever you live with, or just say, let me paint you guys a picture here. So, you're at home, right? And the TV remote breaks. And then your significant other is like, hey, can you fix a remote? And you'll be like, yeah, that's something I could do, could fix a remote. You replace the batteries, nothing. And you're like, man, these connections seem loose on the battery, for the, for the battery, right? If only I could get in and I had a Torx bit or a whatever bit, a Y bit. Sometimes they're sneaky and they use these Y bits on you. Guess what? You have three different Y bit sizes here. You're like, Shh, honey, we don't have these sizes. And you're like, wait up. I do. Bam. She thought you couldn't fix it. Bam, you fix it. Brownie points. I don't know. Just an example. Some to consider when thinking about purchasing this kit. Brownie points. Think about it, reflect on it, then act on it. That's what I always say. So we'll go ahead and grab our Phillips. And we'll have four screws to take off here. We'll have two silver ones right up there, as well as two black ones right down there. Kind of hard to see. There you go. You can make that out. Just remove them. Sometimes it'll just stand. Just make sure you unscrew it all the way, and you'll be all right. These two we'll put to the side. Bam, baby. And now, using the tweezers from our kit, love it. We can kind of get it in between there, and then pry this out. You know what I'm saying? Just pop it off and then we could grab it with our tweezers. Remove that shield. Beautiful. Look how easy and simple that was. Now using that plastic pry tool, just so that we don't short anything out, unplug the battery. Bam, it'll pop right out. And then we're gonna have three screen uh, ribbons here to unplug. That's why the screen was bad. You can see that ribbon was damaged. I don't know how that happens, but it does somehow, sometimes for people. Then we'll just remove all this glue. I like to work it with my plastic pry tool. Just kind of rub it back and forth and then it'll kind of come off. Sometimes, it helps seize a little bit of heat, that same temperature I was using. And just kind of do a little pass, because you're going to be on the plastic, right? So you don't want to use too much, but just enough. A little goes a long way here with the, the removal of the glue. And then you just kind of rub it, and it'll come right out. Kind of ball up. And you could boop, pop that out. Beautiful. And just kind of work around the whole the whole back cover here. <laughs> Blow that glue out, beautiful. Now, you're primed and ready to go. 
grab our new screen. Now that we got our new screen, go ahead and plug it in. I like to use this plastic pry tool to plug the ribbons in. Just line it with the port, you'll hear it click into place. That one, that one, and then plug in the antenna. Sometimes it can be a little elongated. So you just kind of pop it back. It can be a bit tricky sometimes, but we'll get it. We will get it. Bam, baby. And then get that last one in the back re-plugged in. Beautiful. Now we'll plug our battery in, holding it this way, the glue facing up, the ribbon coming this way. Could be finicky, but get her. You gotta line it up right. I swear it's like every time that you do a video, it never goes as smooth as just casually working on them. But that's the way she goes. There we go. Now we're gonna grab this, pop that screw out, slide it under. Then when it's in place, Slide it down in there, pop it into place. Yeah, just be mindful of the ribbons. There we go. Again, you kind of get that, you saw what I did there, right? Because you had that sticking out, so you kind of slide it in at an angle, in and then down. I will go ahead and put these screws back into place. Beautiful. Then go ahead, put that battery down. The glue should still be enough to hold it. And now we'll grab some glue. This is my favorite glue to use when working on um, Fitbits and just any watches we do sell this and from our testing it's held up the best out of any glue we've tested so far so i'll let you guys hear the snap i just got a new one oh, so satisfying and we're gonna go ahead and just apply around the edge Pop that off. just exactly where you saw the old glue apply it nice little bead not too much i kind of put some down and then show you guys how that looks Beautiful. Gotta get this little spot right here. And I did go kind of heavy on it, but that's for a reason. Here's why. So say you kind of, you know, went heavy with it. Did you go ahead and place this down? Slide that in. Push down. And now you see that on the outsides, you got some, some glue uh, kind of squishing out. In this case. I like to grab a microfiber towel and I get some rubbing alcohol and then I just wipe it around on the edge, cleaning all the glue that was kind of uh, kind of squishing out and then wipe it with the dry side and then grab our clamp and then just clamp it down. Ooh, pop down on me. Bam. So situate your clamp. And then I like to leave this to rest for 24 hours as a minimum. But that's basically it. You just replace the screen on your Fitbit Charge 4. It's pretty simple, just kind of tedious with some spots with the, um, with the ribbons and 
just you gotta take your time when heating that glue up so that you can keep your housing looking fresh and not damaged because again you're trying to repair this not damage it if you guys have any questions need any parts or tools you've seen me used in the video links for all that are below or the questions leave a comment or you could reach out through our website we have our phone number there send us a text message or an email and then we'll go ahead and reply help any way we can if uh, you enjoyed leave a like if you didn't tell us how we could do better we'd love to hear that uh, it is Friday I'm very excited everybody loves a good Friday so I want to wish you guys all a happy Friday say it's Wednesday you gotta think it's Friday and then you hop on that Friday wave early on in the week and then every other day the rest of the week you ride that Friday wave all the way to the end of the week that's what I did this week so I was just fired up every single day so that's a little reminder for you guys to stay fired up get your things repaired buy some tools get a sick tool kit and then just go ham fixing like everything but I really do love this tool kit I use it on a daily your mileage may vary since you guys don't fix electronics for a living but if you do or you just want to tanker this is it um, again any glues or whatever if you just want to buy a single a screwdriver because all you need for this repair is a 1.5 millimeter Phillips links for everything are down below hope you guys enjoyed have a phenomenal day because I don't know what day you guys are watching this happy weekend stay fired up Thank you.